Nutritional status of a woman before conception is important. The fertilized egg is not very susceptible to toxic agents. Any trauma at this stage will result in a termination of the pregnancy, most often unnoticed by the mother. Once the embryo attaches to the uterus wall, it will begin its growth in earnest. The cells are still not susceptible to nutritional deficiencies or other dangers from the health and lifestyle choices of the mother. The embryo continues to be susceptible to radiation-induced birth defects. These include cataracts, reduced growth, skeletal defects, microthalmia, microcephaly. At three weeks, the embryo begins to form the rudimentary organs of the fetus. The embryo is now sensitive to nutritional inadequacies. At this stage, early alcohol exposure can lead to non-viability of the fetus and spontaneous abortion or fetal alcohol syndrome in the resulting newborn. Other risks are presented by high intakes of vitamin A, medications and prohibited drugs, and trauma. The development of the central nervous system continues for 16 weeks, so the central nervous system is at high risk throughout that period. At four to five weeks, the central nervous system, heart, limbs, eyes, and ears are all developing and readily affected by inadequate nutritional status. For the heart and limbs, risks diminish after six weeks. For eyes and ears, the risks continue for eight and nine weeks longer. After nine weeks, some of these risks diminish. By six weeks, the heart is beating, the eyes and limb buds are present. This period shows high risk for major structural abnormalities to the central nervous system, eyes, ears, palate, and teeth, and moderate risk to the heart and limbs. The first trimester is the period when the fetus is most susceptible. The high risk to the palate appears to be limited from six to nine weeks, while risk to the teeth and genitalia continue right through to term. At eight weeks, the fetus is about one inch long. Note the lengthening of the limbs. The risks at this stage are physiological defects and minor structural abnormalities. In the second trimester, undernutrition has a greater effect on the mother than on the fetus. However, hereditary diseases and prescription and recreational drugs are still a danger. At 16 weeks, the fetus is six inches long. Physiological defects and minor structural abnormalities are still the major forms of risk, with moderate risk to the central nervous system, eyes, teeth, and external genitalia. 26 weeks marks the end of the second trimester. During the third trimester, the fetus will gain the most weight, up to five or more pounds, and increase in size. A major risk during this time is premature delivery. Preterm infants have a good chance of survival if properly cared for. If undernutrition has happened, then the chance of the infant's survival goes down proportionally to the extent of undernutrition. At 38 weeks, the fetus is near birth, weighs 7 to 9 pounds, and is about 20 inches long. Two widely accepted criteria for a successful pregnancy are 1. a gestation period of longer than 37 weeks, and 2. a birth weight of more than 5.5 pounds. The longer the gestation period and the greater the birth weight, the less likely that medical problems will occur. Sound nutrition during pregnancy is insurance against problems in both of these key criteria.